Next, I wanna talk about the recent changes in PSA and how we can use this imperfect tool more effectively. Earlier this year, the Urological Society of Australia and New Zealand, as well as the American Urological Association, released new guidelines for prostate cancer screening. So uh, looking at those statistics, I do think uh, it's a myth to say that men die with prostate cancer rather than of it. Most of us know that when we get a PSA result back from the pathology laboratory, that the normal range varies with age. And generally the PSA range increases as patients get older to make allowance for the fact that they've got more BPH there. We know that these PSA ranges are not particularly useful. Median PSA is a, a new way of using PSA more effectively. The use of median PSA, particularly in younger men, can help us stratify those patients which are at greater risk of developing prostate cancer. It's often surprising when we look at the median PSA for men in varying age groups at how low they are in comparison to the upper limit of the normal range. Men with a PSA above the median for their age group have an increased risk of developing prostate cancer. I think the important thing to illustrate is the order of magnitude of the increase in risk when men get above their median PSA. It's important to remember that the biggest problem with PSA as an effective tool is that benign prostate hypertrophy increases PSA. Men get more benign prostate hypertrophy the older they get. And that's why if we can get a PSA in men at the age of 40 before they have significant, amount, significant amounts of BPH, it's a far more effective tool. I want to draw your attention to the following tables. When we look at the relative risk of men in their 40s for prostate cancer, you'll see that you don't have to rise very much above the median for your risk of prostate cancer to increase significantly. For example, if your, P if your PSA as a 45 year old is somewhere between 2.6 and 4, you have approximately 100 times the relative risk of prostate cancer. You'll note that as age increases, in fit, for men in their 50s and 60s, that as you rise above the median, the, the relative risk, whilst it increases, doesn't increase nearly as much as it does for younger men. And that's why the tool is so useful in the young age group, and that's why the Urology Society of Australia and New Zealand is recommending that men have a single test at the age of 40. The new recommendations are that men consider a prostate cancer screen in the form of a PSA test and rectal examination at the age of 40. The reason for this is that the median PSA at this age is far more sensitive and predictive of the risk of prostate cancer than when men get older. It's important to remember that the main confounder of PSA is benign prostatic hypertrophy.